hello beanies and welcome back to the channel we're gonna hop straight into this one and show you all of my favorite products i don't really know if this first one counts because the sketchbook isn't really uh like art supplies but it's something you use art supplies in but yeah it's kind of falling apart a little bit because i literally take it everywhere so it has some wear and tear to it but it still does its job and it still manages to look cute next this is like really big but my mom gave this to me and it is a paper cutter it is literally so big and so useful i use this for whenever i need to cut a paper and i need it to be straight i just take it out and i put the paper in there so the pink part flattens the paper into the crease and then the white part um actually like cuts the paper so you need to make sure that the sliders are on the right side so it actually cuts the paper right or else it's gonna look jagged so this is an example of how i usually use it obviously it's pretty obvious that it is used to cut paper but to be more specific there is like a line that goes from one side of the board to the other side don't do it on this side do it on that side because the pink part is going to flatten it first and if you push the white part over it first it might not be as straight of a line so you see i'm pushing the pink one first to make sure the paper is flat and then push the white part over and it makes your paper pretty straight i kind of messed up and i cut that part out because you don't need to see me struggle but let me try that again a little bit straighter this time Yeah, like you see, that looks so much straighter now. I don't know why I was struggling so much the first time. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what they will end up looking like. Obviously, they're nice and straight. So these have like little measurements on them. I think they're measured by a centimeter. So each one is a centimeter long. And then it can help measure your paper so it lines up perfectly. Now let's go into the next thing. Paint pens. I love these things so much. I think you guys have probably seen these all over TikTok or all over YouTube with everybody using these. They are literally so like awesome. They don't bleed through, at least these don't. And I got them from Michaels and I will put a link in the description below. These are literally so cool. You just kind of like shake them and then the paint comes out you have to like press on a paper for a while in order to get the paint to come out it makes such a like satisfying noise <laughs> sadly there are only what like eight colors in this packet so you probably need to buy like different assortments and it's probably more expensive for a bigger pack because these are really good quality but in the long run they're totally worth it like i said they don't bleed through so you don't have to worry about that. I use them on like all my sketchbook pages, at least more toward the beginning of my sketchbook. And they're good for like backgrounds and the colors are really pretty and vibrant. The one thing that I wish was better though was I wish that they came with like refills. Maybe certain brands do, but these didn't come with refills. So I was like, oh, when they run out, I can just fill them back up with more paint. No, I, that was very stupid of me. <laughs> you cannot fill these back up at least if there's a secret department that i don't know about i also wish that it came with a pink paint pen but it's fine they give you two different shades of blue instead like a light blue and then a dark blue but enough about paint pens let's move on to the next item next are alcohol markers these things if you have bought them before they're so expensive but i have three of these i literally have three big packs of these things because i keep running out of just the simple colors like skin tone markers and stuff it's just so much work to keep up with these these aren't the best of the best brand i'll link these also below in the description if you want to get them on amazon but i do recommend you do get a hoo hoo markers or however you pronounce it or something like that because these it's like 
Banjo or something. I don't even know how to pronounce this either, but uh, these are really good though. They don't bleed and I did multiple pictures using just alcohol markers and I would draw stuff for my family and stuff and paint pictures for them using these. They're actually really good, but they do eventually hurt your head over time because they literally smell like alcohol. I mean, they're, they're alcohol markers, so they smell like alcohol. So if you get headaches from strong smells and stuff, then I wouldn't recommend getting these and using them for long periods of time. But yeah, so I strongly recommend that you get these markers if you're looking for a nice cool way to jazz up your sketchbook and this is a great skill to learn how to use markers and shade efficiently. This was from another pack. I know I showed it earlier and it was in there. But yeah, as you can see, they're different. Um, every marker is different. So just figure out which ones you like the best and then stick with those. You don't have to spend a ton of money on markers if you don't have to because there are other alternative brands. Just remember that if you get headaches over like smells and like you're sensitive to smells, I wouldn't recommend these markers because they will definitely hurt your head because they hurt mine and I'm not even sensitive to smells. So just watch out and pay attention to what each one has that is different from the others so you can pick out the brands that work best for you. But next in line are sticky notes. I have so many of these in so many different colors and I still don't have enough. I really love the pink ones and the yellow is also really pretty. They're all different shades and I usually use these for any notes in class. But I mean, it's not really the main thing I use them for. I mainly use them for filling up spaces in my sketchbook or covering up certain areas that I don't like and then just drawing over top of them or just adding cool effects to my sketchbook and like gluing them into my sketchbook and then drawing over top of them to add like really cool effects throughout the page and it looks really cool so I really love sticky notes and whenever I go over to my cousin's house she's usually begging me for like sticky notes and stuff because I have so many and of course I give them to her but if she loves them too, I mean, the hype must be real. So I recommend you get sticky notes. But let's move on to the next thing. White gel pens. These are a lifesaver. What I mean by a lifesaver is, come on. I mean, when you draw, it totally brings your drawings to life. Like you can shade all you want, but nothing looks better than some good, freshly shiny white um, highlights and stuff. It just looks so good. Like I recommend you get some good gel pens. These are so good. They come in multiple sizes. They come in a size two and a size five. I mean, not, it comes in, 0.2, 0.5, 0 0.8, and 0.10. I use the 10 because it's my favorite one. The other ones are just too small for me, so I just stick with the 10s. I keep all the 10s in my pencil case, and honestly, I haven't used the other sizes in so long that I totally forget where they went, so I'm, I don't even know if those were the right sizes, but all I know is that I have the 10s right here, and they work really well. And I'll have the link in the description. Oh my gosh, guys. Do you remember these? Like, I used to use these all the time in elementary school. Like, literally, these are so nostalgic. I was so happy when my grandfather gave me this. I really love this pen, though, because it comes with so many different colors. And the best thing of all is that... I tore off the label, but it's a Jolly Rancher scented pen, and it's literally the coolest thing in the world, guys. It smells like Jolly Ranchers. Each color is a different flavor. Like, the black one is um, black raspberry. The blue one is blueberry, I think, or blue raspberry, I forget. And then, like, the red, I think, is watermelon, and, like, the green is, like, green apple. It's, like, they're all different 
um, flavors and it's literally the coolest pen in the world. I use it for like all my assignments so I don't have to keep switching between colors and it makes sure it really keeps my uh, notes really organized and it also makes drawing really fun when I'm just on the go and I only want to bring a few art supplies and not my whole entire pencil case. I'll just grab this really fast along with some other things that I can just shove in my bag really fast and take with me. And of course we can't forget the black liners. These are completely essential to like any artist who draws with traditional art. I love these things so much. You won't believe it. Like I got these things from Five Below, guys. I was not expecting such good quality from black liners from Five Below for like $5.99 or however much they cost. They came in multiple sizes. One is 0.1, one is 0.2, one is 0.4, one is 0.6, one is 0.8, and one is just one, and then there's a brush in there. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I didn't actually look at the packaging, but, and some of them have also rubbed off, so I don't really know which sizes are which anymore, but I kind of just look and see. But these are literally so awesome. I use these all the time. Next is just literally a basic sharpie. It seems kind of weird, but this is one of my favorite art supplies because it really helps me like decorate my sketchbook and it's a good like thick black liner, although it does bleed through. And another thing I also like to use are index cards, maybe for like a bookmark or something or if I'm bored in class, but these are mainly for notes, but I do love these and I need more of them. But that's basically it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Some things will be linked in, linked in the description and some things won't because I don't know where they came from. It was They're too old to remember. But thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below how your day is going. I love you so much. Bye, beanies.